The Boltzmann brain is a thought experiment, born from the realms of physics and philosophy. Named after the Austrian physicist Ludwig Boltzmann, this concept challenges our understanding of reality and consciousness. According to the theory, in an infinite universe, random fluctuations could theoretically create a solitary, conscious brain. One that exists briefly in a vacuum without a body, memories, or external world. It may emerge from chaos, existing in a completely disconnected, isolated state. The idea pushes the boundaries of what we consider to be real. If such a brain were to spontaneously arise, it might generate a false sense of memory and self-awareness, leading to an illusory consciousness. It casts doubt on our understanding of existence and forces us to question the reliability of our own perceptions. Are we truly experiencing a real, continuous reality? Or could we be a fleeting manifestation of random quantum events? Arthur Schopenhauer, a 19th century German philosopher, offered a strikingly pessimistic view of existence that has profound connections with the Boltzmann brain paradox. At the core of his philosophy lies the will, an irrational, blind force driving all existence. For Schopenhauer, the will is not a rational or conscious decision-making entity, but an unconscious striving force, a perpetual wanting that never reaches satisfaction. The world, in his view, is merely the manifestation of this unrelenting will, which is the source of all suffering. Human life, in Schopenhauer's eyes, is defined by the agony of desire, frustration, and the inevitable failure of achieving lasting fulfillment. He believed that life was a cycle of striving, where satisfaction is fleeting and pain is inevitable. The only way to transcend this endless cycle is through art, philosophy, and asceticism. Moments where the individual can escape the clutches of the will, even if only briefly. Let's imagine the Boltzmann brain through the eyes of Schopenhauer's philosophy, a lens that doesn't sugarcoat the chaos of existence. If such a brain were to arise, a lone, fleeting consciousness born from random cosmic fluctuations, it would find itself trapped in an existential nightmare. Disconnected from a stable external reality, this brain would feel self-aware. Yet that awareness would hang by a thread of randomness, devoid of grounding or meaning. To Schopenhauer, this bizarre scenario would be the ultimate example of life's futility and absurdity. The Boltzmann brain's consciousness wouldn't just be fleeting, it would be a cruel joke played by the universe. Imagine a flash of awareness igniting in the void, only to drown in a sea of chaos and meaninglessness moments later. No purpose, no satisfaction, no lasting legacy. Just an ephemeral blip of suffering. Sound grim? That's Schopenhauer for you. In his view, this brain would be the perfect metaphor for existence itself. A random, fleeting phenomenon shaped by an irrational and insatiable will. This blind force, constantly striving yet never achieving fulfillment, drives the universe and all its creations, including us. The Boltzmann brain, in all its absurdity, embodies this cycle, emerging from the void, momentarily grappling with its own existence, and then vanishing without a trace. What makes this thought experiment even more chilling is how it challenges our understanding of reality and purpose. Just as Schopenhauer believed the universe is ruled by an irrational will that perpetuates suffering, the Boltzmann brain underscores how fragile and fleeting consciousness truly is. It's a fleeting moment of awareness, teetering on the edge of chaos, destined to experience the frustration of existence before disappearing into nothingness. Schopenhauer might even say this, brain's brief anguish is a condensed version of human life itself, a tragic random burst of awareness in a vast and indifferent cosmos. If Boltzmann brains are even remotely possible, they shake the very foundation of what we think we know about reality. The idea that random, isolated consciousnesses could spontaneously emerge forces us to confront unsettling questions about our own awareness. Could it be that we, too, are an illusion, born of random fluctuations in the infinite expanse of the cosmos? Could our consciousness, the core of who we think we are, be nothing more than a fleeting spark in a vast, indifferent universe? This thought experiment challenges the essence of what we perceive as reality. 
If our experiences and sense of self could be nothing more than a transient, random manifestation of consciousness, then the entire framework of our existence comes into question. Perhaps we're living in a simulation, a construct governed by rules or forces far beyond our current understanding. How can we trust what we perceive as real if it might be as ephemeral as a Boltzmann brain? A brief flicker in an endless cosmic void? Could our reality itself be a fluctuation, or even worse, an elaborate illusion crafted by some unseen force? These questions push the boundaries of science, philosophy, and human curiosity, leaving us grappling with the very fabric of existence itself. The Boltzmann brain thought experiment, when viewed through the lens of Schopenhauer's philosophy, brings us face to face with the absurdity and uncertainty that underpin existence. In a universe of infinite possibilities, randomness might give rise to fleeting consciousnesses, like the Boltzmann brain. Isolated, transient sparks of awareness, grasping for meaning in a vacuum of nihilism. For Schopenhauer, this isn't surprising. It reflects the natural state of life itself. A blind, futile striving toward an unattainable goal. Yet Schopenhauer offers a sliver of hope. He believed that we could transcend the will through art, knowledge, and a profound understanding of the world. By acknowledging the transient and uncertain nature of existence, we gain a unique kind of freedom, a liberation that comes from acceptance. Perhaps meaning isn't found in satisfying desires or achieving permanence, but in embracing life's impermanence finding beauty and understanding in the fleeting moments that emerge from chaos. This reflection leads to a profound question. Can we accept the uncertainty of existence and find peace within it, even if all we perceive is temporary and illusory? Schopenhauer's philosophy suggests that the answer lies not in defiance of this reality, but in a quiet embrace of its truths. Now, I turn the question to you. How do you interpret the implications of the Boltzmann brain. Does Schopenhauer's perspective on the will resonate with your understanding of consciousness and existence? Share your reflections. The dialogue might just illuminate another fleeting, beautiful moment in our shared exploration of meaning. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.